Hello and welcome to At Home with Six Senses. My name is Karina and I'm a real Six Senses dinosaur. I'm working since over 10 years for the company in various roles and currently I'm a wellness projects director. I did my master's in health management and a few other certifications as well, always focused on nutrition exercise. And that's why I'm the lucky one today to show you a little bit of movement. So maybe many of you are sitting more than you usually do because maybe you're working from home or what other things. Um, and that's why maybe also the movement to go from and to work is simply missing. So that's why I want to show you today a simple standing workout. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so make sure that you have comfortable clothes on and a little bit space around you and that's all. But before we get started, two very important things. So the first thing is that, you know, because I don't see you, make sure you don't feel pain. The exercise should be fun, but you should not feel pain. I'll give you a few variations in for some of the exercises and then go as far as you feel comfortable. And when you feel pain, just simply stop and wait for the next exercise. Then the second thing is I have tested it. I'll be a little bit further in the back and you should be able to hear me. But in case you don't hear me, just follow the moves, put your own music on and still enjoy the workout. So yeah, let's get started. So now before, because many of you maybe have been sitting the whole day or maybe it's in the morning, like here. So actually, by the way, um, also to let you know, I'm here in Austria in my living room. So that's where we're going to exercise today. So maybe it's in the morning like it's here in Austria or maybe you have been sitting already a little bit. So that's why let's start a little bit to stretch out. Ah, oh, very good. Feels good, right? Perfect. Whatever feels comfortable. And then stand up. So I'm going to go a little bit more in the back. I hope you can still hear me. And we we'll start to warm up a little bit. So you can just chop in the spot or dance a little bit. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Perfect. Right, this is just to warm up a little bit. And what I also like to do is touch my opposite knee. So you can do that as well. Just do whatever feels comfortable. Very good. Or if you want to make it a little bit harder for your core, try to reach your knee with your elbow. And you can also just change between the different exercises, whatever feels comfortable. <laughs> Great, perfect. Do this for a few more seconds. I'll vary between these two as well. Cool, great. So now within this position, we're probably going to strengthen the whole body. We start from the bottom and then we move up. So the first exercise is great for your calves, but also for your balance. So cross your legs, very good. Then suck your core in, suck your belly in, engage your glutes, you can put your hands wherever you like, but it always looks nice if you put very professional, if you put them on your hip. So then from here, press your heels up and exhale as you lift up. Very good. Great. Whoops. Always focus on one point that's not moving. So I shouldn't be looking at myself in the camera. <laughs> Focus on the point. Very good. Then we switch to the other side, to the other leg in front. And again, the same. We lift up. We press through the toes. Exhale as you come up. Very good. With five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Very good. You should be feeling this in your calves already. So now we will move up to the front of the legs. For that, I'll be a little sideways. You step with one leg back, so we lunge. And then as you come back, you lift the leg up as high as you can. Okay, lunge back and come back to the middle. So when you lunge down, make sure you have two 90 degree angles and you imagine that someone is pulling on your head. Very good, and lift. And lift, great. You can do this as fast or as slow as possible. If you feel it in your knee, just stop a little bit earlier, step a little bit less back, go a little bit less down. Very good. 
That's it. Hands again wherever you feel comfortable. <laughs> Great. And two. And last one. Now we change the other side. So other leg in front. Very good. Again, step back to 90 degree angles and lift up. Very good. Lift up. Again, focus on a point that's not moving. You're seeing, this is also testing your balance. That's one of our themes today. <laughs> During that standing workout. Very good. And three more. Two. And last one. Great. So the heart rate slowly comes up. We do one more for the front of the legs. So what we do, we squat down in the middle, and then we again cross over and lunge down. Come back to the middle, squat down, and cross over. Very good. Middle, squat down, and cross over. Really try to reach as far as you can with the leg in the back. Here, sit down just as far as you feel comfortable, and then lunge to the other side. Of course, if you feel comfortable, you can speed a little bit up. So stay wherever you feel comfortable. Great. Also here, core is engaged, spine is straight. Great, perfect. We do 10 more. Don't worry, not on each side. <laughs> so five on each side. So four more. Very good. And three. You can also over here, press your hands together if you want to work a little bit on your chest and your arms as well. Or it engages the upper body even more. Very good. And last one. Great, shake it out a little bit. I'm sure you're feeling it already. I'm already getting a little bit out of breath. <laughs> so now we did the calves, we did the front of the legs. Now we do a beautiful exercise for the whole back of your body. That's really one of my current favorite exercises. So for this, we stand on one leg. Very important, focus again on the point that's not moving. And here, you lean forward and you aim to be parallel to the floor. You imagine somebody's pulling on your heels, on your fingers, and you reach through your whole body, the thumbs are facing up, and then you come back to the middle. Very good. Great for your hamstrings, for your lower back, your upper back. Great. And if you're feeling adventurous today, you can add a jump. Very good. Perfect. And jump. Very good. We do 10 on each side. So seven more. Six. Five. Four. Very good. Three. Two, and last one, great. Shake it out a little bit, guess what? Now we do the other side. So again, find your balance, focus on a point that's not moving, and then reach forward with your hands and backwards with your leg. Make sure that you don't open up too much with your hip, so try to stay as parallel as possible with your hip to the floor. Very good, and here the same again. Back to the middle, and parallel to the floor. Very good. And again, if you're feeling adventurous, add a little jump. Very good, last five. Five, four, three, two, Oops, now look in the camera. Very good, and five. Beautiful. So now, the next exercise is going to be for, for hips. 
I know that's especially nice for ladies, but also men need it. So we stay, stay in the standing position, and then we simply put one leg to the side, and we point the toe, right? So now you imagine that you want to draw a circle with your toe on the wall beside you. So for this, keep again the core engaged, suck your belly button in, we're helping with your balance, put your hands wherever you like, and then draw a circle. The bigger you draw the circle, the harder it will get for your balance. Very good. Perfect. And we change direction. Perfect. Great. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whoops, two, one. Great. Really challenging to look at the camera and fold and keep the balance. So if I don't look at you, you know why. <laughs> I have to find my balance again. So now we switch to the other side. Again, tuck your, toe, um, tuck your belt button in, point your toe, and then draw a circle. Great. Again, maybe start slow and small. And then if you feel comfortable, you can draw the circle bigger. Great. And the other direction, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, just 5 more, 4, 3, 2, 1, right, and shake it out. Well done, great. So now we have completed the lower part of our body, now we move up. Now we do two uh, belly exercises, yes it's a little bit more standing, I remember difficult when we're standing, but it's still possible. So we have worked, used it already a little bit in the other exercise as well, but now we focus specifically on the core muscles. So for the first one, we stand short width apart, bend our knees a little bit, I got a little bit back, perfect. And now make sure that your hip stays square. So your hip doesn't move at all, it stays in the same position, and your upper body, you rotate a little bit side to side. So I like to put the hands on my shoulders to see where they're going. But you can also just put the hands in front, wherever you feel comfortable. That's actually my favorite position. Very good. And then with your, your belly really engaged, you twist side to side. Very good. And then you should feel how your core is working, how your belly is working. Very good. Don't forget to breathe. Really, very good. Also engage, just lower abs. Really suck it in as much as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great, well done. First belly exercise completed. Next one to follow. So again, we need some balance. So you can choose one leg. Lift the other one, and now take the opposite hand and press on the inside of your thigh, so like you want to press your thigh away. So press as much as you can, and then switch, and press the other thigh. Great, and press, and press. Here again, like always, you wouldn't know now. Keep your belly engaged, and press, and press. And you can also touch your belly, if you press, you should really feel how your core is engaged. Very good. Great for your obliques. The other muscles here on the side. Very good. We do 10 on each side. 10. And press. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, last one. Perfect. Great. So now, next one is our back. We already, again, worked a little bit on it in exercise before, but now specifically uh, on the area. So we lean a little bit forward, so we bend our knees a little bit, 
lean forward and then we expand the hands in one line with the spine and now we pretend like we're swimming that breaststroke so we swim and swim and as we bring the arms back we really pull our shoulder blades together here make sure you don't overarch your back so again like always bell is engaged and we swim swim perfect great and we swim and swim great perfect swim swim great just as a variation for later of course you can do any other swimming style here as well it's really fun <laughs> and all of them are a great workout for your back very good great and squeeze squeeze for five four three two one great so probably you felt now your lower back a little bit engaged and your upper back as well so now i come a little bit closer again because now we are going to work on the arms a little bit more with my hair <laughs> so basically now we put the hands to the side like this and there's a trick if you make sure this muscle is engaged your whole arm just looks so much more trained so if you train this muscle over here your whole your whole arm looks so much more in shape yeah like i said great so put on the side and then we just start here drop the shoulders down and we start to circle the arms a little bit very good i go a little bit more in the back again oops great very good and we change the direction and some of you can do this maybe for a few seconds some of you for a few minutes great perfect and you'll feel after some time it will start burning your shoulders that's exactly what we would like so you can change direction again great perfect for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 great perfect so now we nearly completed our workout we have one more exercise something that's very often forgotten is the neck but especially if we sit a lot on the laptop or at home or on a smartphone that's an area we need to strengthen as well and it looks a little bit funny but it's super effective so now to strengthen your neck we start to sit up straight imagine somebody is pulling in your head again and then you put one hand on one side of your on, on your head you can choose which one and then you press against it very good so you can feel how your neck is engaged and you just press and keep breathing very good we hold for a few seconds perfect and then the other side as well press against your head your hand perfect and then the same in the back so again put your hands you can interlace your fingers Put it behind your, your head and then just press against your hands like before. And then hold for a few seconds. It looks so relaxing, but actually we're working. <laughs> Great. That's also something you can always integrate in your office day. Perfect. Last but not least, put one hand in front. There you go. And now press here. I told you it looks funny, but it really helps. <laughs> so again, put your hand in, in front of your, your head. Very good. In your forehead. And then press against your hand. And keep breathing. You can already see here as well. Muscles are engaged. Great, and that's it. You did it. That was nearly a 20 minutes workout. And of course, like we did the warm up in the beginning, a little cool down cannot be missed. 
So what we start now doing is I'll go a bit my back again. But as we stand, we just reach forward as far as we can. There you go. And we just let ourselves hang here. Very good. Maybe shift the weight a little bit more forward. Feel the nice stretch in the back of your legs, in your lower back. Perfect. And slowly roll up. Now bring one knee to your buttocks. Make sure that the knee and knee are aligned and that you press the hip forward. Very often I see this, but make sure you're a nice straight line from your knee to your shoulder. Feel the nice stretch in the front of your leg. Very good. Other side as well. We hold for a few seconds on each side. Great. So stretch a little bit of our chest and our abs. We interlace the hands behind our back. Open the chest and lean a little bit backwards. Coming deep inhales and exhales here. Very good, great. Then interlace the hands in front of your body. Tuck your chin to the chest and imagine somebody's pulling on your hands. Feel a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. Great, and then just release, shake it out a little bit. Great, well done. I don't see you, but high five. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little workout here with me in my living room today and that you feel that your muscles work. So now just take a few seconds, breathe and feel all the muscles you worked on and enjoy the rest of your day. And great that you were part at for at home with six senses. So I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.